Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites. And where is Renee? So she's supposed to be free by now, but Bali authorities are dragging their feet. Hurry up! We've got half the media in Bali waiting for her to come out. In a few short hours, she'll walk out these doors here at the Bangli prison. It's the door that she will walk out of, and this is the door where she's likely to walk free. Astonishing! And finally, the door opened. Huge crush here now as Renee Lawrence is coming out there trying to get the media back. That's the problem here. And the circus was on. And after a wave goodbye, she touched down in Brisbane where the media were ready for answers. What are you looking forward to most about freedom? Is it difficult leaving behind the other members of the Bali Nine? But after 14 years of coverage, how could anyone mix up how the Bali Nine and Renee Lawrence got into jail in Bali in the first place? Yet on Studio 10, that's what happened. She served over 13 years for trying to smuggle over two kilograms of heroin into Australia. That is right. But two minutes later came this. And I should make a correction as well. Um, Renee Lawrence and the Bali Nine were trying to smuggle uh, heroin into Bali from Australia and not the other way around. Sorry, Sarah. You were right first time. But now to a passing. Controversial cartoonist Larry Pickering has died following a two-year battle with cancer. The four-time Walkley Award winner was a trailblazer for Australian cartooning. Yep, Larry Pickering may have blazed a trail, but he and his pictures weren't everyone's cup of tea. He's been called a con man and scumbag, a racist, Islam's the problem, and a misogynist. His 2011 cartoons taking on Julia Gillard were called vile and sexist. We can't even show most of them on TV. Hey, what a guy. But SBS News was prepared to take the plunge and show some of his most dangerous work. He also became Australia's most controversial cartoonist, accused of anti-Muslim, anti-gay and sexist views. Except that's actually Bill Leake's controversial cartoon, which made headlines two years ago. Idiots! But now to an arson attack involving a pair of flaming undies. Well, this is one of the state's most lucrative traffic cameras, but today it's out of action after being vandalised in the early hours of this morning. Yeah, can you believe it? Hmm, apparently not. Witnesses couldn't believe their eyes. In a bizarre attack, they say they saw a man set alight a pair of undies and throw them at the base of the camera. Yep, those flaming undies set radio on fire, burnt up the internet, including the ABC, and lit up our tellies. But then the cops put out the flames by telling us they weren't undies, but socks. So, what did the media say when told of this socker are cocker? They said, technically socks are a part of underwear. Unbelievable! But now, to traffic news. Happening now, traffic chaos, freeway emergency, a truck hanging from a Melbourne bridge. Oh dear! And 7's vision was frightening, but over on 9, they had exclusive pictures of the crash actually happening. As you can see from these exclusive pictures, the tanker is hurtling down the Calder freeway. Well, it's see better if you've got your stupid logo out the way, you've covered up your exclusive. Watermarking gone mad. And we'll be back on the ABC with Media Watch on Monday night. That's the ABC, ABC, Media Watch. Uh, don't miss it.